welcome to another backscatter tutorial. Today I'm proud to introduce to you the backscatter airlock. This vacuum pump system will help ensure that your housing is completely flood free and ready to get in the water. Even the most professional shooters, including us at the shop, can get in a rush, get in a bind, try to get everything together, and this system will help ensure that your housing is ready to hit the water and be good to go without any chance of losing your housing. So, the airlock itself comes in four parts. One is the customized bulkhead. Uh, these bulkheads are uh, fairly specific to each housing brand. Uh, we carry them for Subal, CNC, Aquatica, Nauticam, and even Hoogifot, Seacam, and other custom setups. Uh, this bulkhead also comes with a cap so you can easily uh, remove the uh, other pieces to it and just die with it as it is. The next piece we have is the one-way valve. This is one of the most critical parts of the entire system uh, as it will maintain uh, negative pressure in the housing even while the pump is disengaged. And um, we've taken a lot of pains to make sure we look for one that works that even without this cap in place, your housing is safe to at least 100 feet. The next piece we have is the pump and gauge. This inline gauge will help uh, show you that your housing is maintaining negative pressure while you are pumping it down. The next piece we have here is this very lightweight, easy to use pump. We looked at several pumps when we first started this process and decided with this uh, very compact, lightweight, easy to use hand pump. Uh, we looked at other ones including battery powered, even uh, squeeze pumps, but we found that this one because of its uh, small size and uh, the ability to pull a vacuum on a housing of this size and about five to 10 pumps, very handy. One of the other great factors about it is it's a standard wine pump that you might even be able to find in your galley or at the corner store if you happen to uh, lose it um, while you need it. So, getting everything together. First, we need to make sure we install the bulkhead. Uh, installing the bulkhead is gonna vary greatly depending on which housing brand you have. This one I'm installing here is a Sioux Ball, which actually happens to be the same as Seacam as well. Uh, as with anything, you want to make sure you clean and grease your O-rings before installing. Just a little bit of O-ring grease is all you ever need, just to give it a nice clean shine. Make sure that your port that you're plugging it into is cleaned out. and thread it in until it seats firmly. Now with the seat, with the Subal one specifically, you are gonna to need to make sure that you get either a socket wrench or a crescent wrench and just tighten it a little bit further. Now you do not wanna over tighten this as you could possibly cross and break the threads. One of the other great things about this bulkhead system is the fact that it is user installable. Because you're essentially creating a vacuum system to check the housing for leaks, you're going to be able to check pretty much immediately if your housing has a leak in that area. The next piece we have is the one-way valve to install. Very simple, if you put together any electronic sink cord, you simply push it in and thread it on. Another great thing about this system is once it's thread on, it's not keyed to stay in any one place. So if you need to move it, say more up, more down, or on one of these other housings to the left to the right to get it out of the way, it's easy to do once it's installed and in place. The next thing we need to put together is the hand pump and gauge. Simply plug them together, and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you remove the cap with this easy uh, quick release mechanism and simply insert into the other one. To pull the pump, it's quite easy. Simply pull it down. You can already see I've already started to uh, get about halfway to negative five. Just a little bit further and we're basically at negative five. At this point we can let it set for 10 minutes and come back later and make sure it's maintained pressure. Uh, or for the people who want to make sure that their housing is not going to leak, you can even leave this together overnight. And when you do, you're going to want to make sure to remove this. Because this is completely sealed, your housing is still under vacuum. So you can easily plug this all in and dive with it in this condition. One reason why we call it the airlock is because it's also locking your ports onto the housing. 
Some housings don't have any port locks at all. Some have very simple ones that large domes can easily get tweaked, causing possible vignetting or even falling off when these uh, get handed to you or when you're entering and exiting the water. At negative five uh, inches of mercury here, it's actually quite hard to rotate, but I will not be able to forcibly take this port off. And the same is true about the back. If I unlatch this housing, I cannot remove it. It would take actually quite a bit of force for me to remove it entirely. And for those people who really want to make sure their ports do not turn, if you take this down all the way to negative 10 on their gauge, it's going to be pretty much rock steady and solid. Okay, so let's say you finish your dive and want to change your battery and get back to uh, taking the housing apart. Simply make sure the pump is removed from the inline gauge, plug it back in, and you'll hear that it's starting to suck air back into the housing to equalize pressure. And you can even see it on the gauge there. If you happen to set the system up beforehand, get to the boat with it under pressure with no intention of taking it apart, and you're out in the water and you're like me, and oh no, I left my lens cap on. How am I gonna get this off? You don't need this pump to um, to bring your housing back under pressure for those emergency purposes. Simply untwist this and it'll forcibly pop the seal, allowing you to then take that port off, remove that pesky lens cap, and put it back on. And this system here is a new backscatter airlock.